Thank you to Kenneth Copeland Ministries for sowing the airtime for this broadcast. There's enough power in every sick room and in every hospital room to raise up that sick one that may be describing you. Yes, you yes. may be in a sick room. Yep. You may be in a hospital room. And I want to remind you, power is present. That power is there to do a work. Believe in what's present, not try to get something, but notice that he's already made it yours. It's present right where you're at. Say, I receive that power. I receive, I receive that power. I receive it right now. I receive it right From now. From the top of my head. From the top of my to head. the soles of my feet. The soles of my feet. We welcome you to Jesus the Healer today. Thank you for taking the time to be with us. And I tell you what, you won't be disappointed because the Amen. Word never disappoints. Amen. I tell you what, uh, you come away from the Word and you come away with something. Yes. That's right. And when you spend That's time right. with the Word, you can come away from a movie and, be, and have lost something. <laughs> right? Uh, pick up a, a different kind of uh, entertainment novel or something and brother, it'll jerk something right out of you. But the Word all Always put yes. something in you. Amen. Amen. And so we're glad you joined us today. And thank God for the word. Yes. Amen. It gives us the best uh -huh. life. Yes. Amen. Yes. We've been teaching on the subject of praise and worship yes. because praise and worship is to be the lifestyle mm -hmm. of the person with faith. Right. You yes. can't be a person of faith and not be a praiser and not be a worshiper. And I'm not talking about music playing. I'm not talking about certain songs being going. Amen. It's not just what you do in a service. It's the way we live. It's, it's, if I could say this, it's the, it's an attitude of our life. It's an attitude of our life that finds its way into our mouth. Amen. Amen. And uh, we don't want to be guilty of just saying, well, I'm, I, I'm just worshiping God in my heart. That's good yeah. that your heart is turned toward him, but his praise is to be in our mouth. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. And so we just, we need to make sure that that's a spiritual habit yes. in our life. Amen. Amen. We've been looking at something that Brother Copeland said, and I'm so grateful to have heard it, and I wish I'd have heard yes. it 30 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it would yeah. help me so yeah. much at times That's of true. testing. But he made this statement. He said, when you pray, mm -hmm. you lay hold of things. Yes. Yes. But when you praise, uh -huh. you win battles. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning this, yeah. you get to the other side yeah. of opposition. Yeah. Yes. Now you have to, it's, it's right to pray. Mm -hmm. And you have to know some things. Sure. You know, but when you praise, you, you, uh, you let that opposition know, I win. Yes, that's it. That's I it. win. Yes. When we praise God, we're praising Him for what He's done. Uh -huh. We're praising Him for what He's made ours yes. in Christ. Yes. We're praising Him for our inheritance. Yes. When we worship Him, and there's a bit of a difference, our worship is our honor, reverence, and mm -hmm. gratitude yes. toward God, mm -hmm. honoring Him for who He mm -hmm. is. Yes. Praising involves especially what he has done. Yeah. Right. But the two will work together and they right. flow together. Right. Right. They are like flows. Yes. Uh, but we don't want to leave out the flow of either one of them. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's right. we've, Amen. Been, uh, we've been looking at something that God said to Brother Norval Hayes, who was a minister of faith and healing. Uh, he's in heaven now, but we're holding to the revelations yes. that God Amen. gave him. And God said to him, he said, my children basically love me, but they live in poverty and sickness and defeat. They don't live in heaven's blessings because they don't worship me mm -hmm. enough. Right. Or we could say long enough right. for the power of God, the anointing of God uh -huh. to come into manifestation Amen. Amen. and to destroy the yoke. Yeah. That's what destroys the yoke uh -huh. is the anointing. Right. And when we praise, when we worship, we are releasing our faith. Yes. Amen. When we Amen. release our faith, that is an invitation for God to move. Amen. Amen. God yes. will not move uninvited. That's right. Dad Hagen, who was our spiritual father for decades, he made the statement. He said, God is a perfect gentleman. Uh -huh. yes. He will never move uninvited. Amen. That's, right. Amen. That's why it's important that we be hungry. Yes. Yes. 
hungry for what he has. Let, because our hunger is, is um, if I could say this, us letting him know we value what he has. But it's with our faith that we release that hunger. Amen. Amen. And we invite him. Our faith is an open door. Yes. Faith is an open door to God. And when we're praising God, we're releasing our faith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Many times people are so mindful, if I could say this, how to, get, how to grow their faith, mm-hmm. how to strengthen their right. faith, right. Um, how to increase. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because there, there are measures of faith uh, spoken of in the word when Jesus yeah. say, uh, I've never seen such great faith faith. Uh-huh. No, not yeah. in Israel. He's right. talking about measures, or we could say this, the strength right. of right. someone's faith. Right. Yeah. Everyone has faith yeah. that's born again because God gave to us the measure of faith, but that measure of faith can be strengthened. Right. Yeah. Yes. And so whenever we're worshiping God, we're releasing faith. Uh-huh. Yes. The right. more we yes. worship, the more, more faith we release. Right. Right. The less we worship, uh, yes. the less faith That's we release, good. and yes. God's power meets us according to our faith. Right. Yes. Jesus yes. said it. Jesus said, so be it done unto uh-huh. you according to your faith. Yes. And it's not just the faith in your heart, it's the right. faith that you release. Right. Because yes. you can have a heart full of faith, yeah. but if it's never spent, That's right. if it's never put yes. into action, uh-huh. the faith yeah. you possess right. will not benefit you. That's good. Amen. Praising Amen. and worshiping yeah. gets our faith moving. Amen. That's good. That's so good. It's an avenue that yeah. we release yes. our faith. Now, Psalm 34 and verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord yes. at all times. Yes. Look at it, all times. All times. Good times, uh-huh. difficult times, yes. all times. Yes. Yes. No time right. is dismissed from blessing him That's right. Amen. at all times. All times. Yes. It doesn't mean 24 hours a day necessarily. Mm-hmm. It's talking about a lifestyle. Yes. Yes. Because we're not worshiping and praising 24 hours a day. Somebody may say, well, I am. Well, you're sleeping, you're eating, you're conversing with someone else at some time. It's an attitude. It's a lifestyle. And it's to find its way into our mouth. You know, you could, uh, if I could say this, you could be married to someone and you could love them, but you can be neglectful to tell them and they will start questioning yeah. Your love, even though you would have a heart full of love for them. Right. But if it never comes out of your mouth, uh-huh. it doesn't hit the target yeah. and yeah. make a difference. Yeah. Amen. Faith yeah. is the same way. We can have a heart full of faith, but if we never let it out of our mouth and put it into motion, then we'll never benefit from all the faith that we possess. And so uh, Psalm 34 verse 1 says, I will bless Amen. the Lord. Look at, at all, all times. times. Yes. Pastor Nancy, you may say, I'm, I'm at a time I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. This verse That's just right. told you. Yes. When you don't know in the natural That's what right. to do, now you know spiritually yes. what to do. I will yes. bless the Lord at all, all times. times. Why? Because at a time that I don't know what yeah. to do, right. if I if I will be found in obedience to this verse and be blessing him yeah. while I'm blessing him, many times I'll hear what to do yeah. because it puts me in his flow. Yeah. Blessing him, yeah. praising him, worshiping him, magnifying him, glorifying him puts me in his flow. Why? Because it puts my attention on him, my focus on him. Amen. So I will, notice this, I will. It doesn't say whether, it doesn't say I feel. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you feel like That's it or not. Right. This right. is a choice of our will. It's uh-huh. a decision. Right. Yes. I will. Yes. I will. I'm, I'm firm on that. Amen. I have set yes. that. Yes. <laughs> right? Amen. Remember when you were growing up or when I was growing up and I would say if we ever, if, we, if I ever said, which I didn't. <laughs> Mother, do I have to go to school today? You will be going to school today. That was established before you asked. So before the needs showed up, I've already established, I will bless the Lord at all times. That's already established. I won't decide if I'm going to establish that in the face of difficulty. 
I establish that as a flow of my life. I will bless the Lord. Uh, To bless him means you're focused on him. Amen. Amen. So at, I will focus on the one I'm blessing at all times. Amen. 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 What does that do for you? It gets your attention off the wrong thing. It gets your attention off the opposition that is trying to get movement in your life. It's trying to find an entrance. Um, If praise, worship, magnifying God is flowing out, how difficult for wrong things to flow in when there's already an Uh outflow established. This is how difficult things get in when in the minds of people, wrong thoughts, difficulties enter and they turn them over in their thought life because there's not the purposeful outflow. That's good. And so uh, there's there's openings. (laughs) I will bless the Lord at all times. At all times. Listen, a lot of people will bless the Lord when everything's in place. I mean, it's easy then. But when things look like they are being completely upended, Yes. toppled over, uh-huh. going the wrong direction. Right. We have to be skillful at employing. Yes. Yes. I will bless the Lord Amen. at that time. Amen. And I tell you, at the, at the time you feel like crying. Uh-huh. If you're going to cry, that's fine. Right. Raise your hands and bless Amen. him during it. <laughs> at the time you feel like giving up. Come on. Yeah. You've already established what you're going to do at that time. I will bless the Lord at that time. The time I feel like giving up, I'm going to do the thing that will keep me from giving up. Amen. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. Isn't that amazing? The believer already knows what to do at all times. You might not know the specifics, of how your miracle is going to happen, yes. how God is going to work uh-huh. something, but we're already told our part Amen. in it. Yes. 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 Blessing yes. Him, right. blessing yes. Him. Yes. I will bless the Lord yes. at all times. At and all then times. the next phrase of Psalm 34, verse 1, what's it say? His praise yes. shall continually. continually. Amen. Look at that. Be in my mouth. Yes. Not just in my heart. No. Right. 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 Yep. Not just That's praise right. thoughts. Right. And listen, right. yeah. there's a time, there's a time when you're in a midst with yeah. people and it's not appropriate to be loud. Right. Yeah. You can turn inward. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you can talk to God. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Inwardly. Mm-hmm. But, and there's those times we do that because we can exit a bad conversation right. even though our body is still there. Right. Yeah. Right. So good. Amen. By turning toward right. Him. That's right. so good. Yes. Amen. You can exit oh, yes. what other people are doing. Right. You can just go ahead. That's what Paul and Silas did yeah. in Acts chapter 16. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh-huh. While wrong things, dark things, hard uh-huh. things, they had been beaten and thrown That's in prison yes. and they're in a dark, hard place right. and they exited. They didn't That's wait for right. the doors to let That's them out. Right. Amen. We're not waiting on doors Amen. to let them Amen. out. We're not waiting on doors to let us out. We can exit by where we put our attention. We become absorbed with a different flow. And we're not odd in this. And I say odd, O-D-D, not (laughs) A-W-E-D. We're not peculiar, we're not inappropriate in this. We don't try to appear to do yeah. something no. that would make us uh, yeah. draw attention to us in the wrong right. way. Right. 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 Yeah. But it's just part of our lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. We don't right. do it to try to impress people that right. we're spiritual. This yeah. is this is genuinely yes. the flow yeah. of our heart yeah. in gratitude. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. I will yes. bless the Lord at all, all times. times. His praise shall continually yes. be Hallelujah. in my mouth. Amen. Can I? It's not only in our mouth to him. Mm -hmm. But what about in our mouth when we're talking to ourselves? You know, you can talk to yourself, have thoughts to yourself, and you can have the wrong thing in your mouth when you're talking to yourself. 
Yes. And there are times when some, the wrong thing wants to get in our mouth and say, no, I'm praising him. Amen. No, I'm praising him. Yes. Father, I'm praising yes. you. You see? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all, all times. Time. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Uh-huh. The safe thing about this word continual and this instruction to us yeah. is that if his praise is continually in our mouth uh-huh. and praise is one way of releasing our faith, then our faith is being continually right. released. That's right. Right. That's good. Meaning yeah. this, our faith is ready. Uh-huh. It's yeah. right here. Yeah. It's yeah. not pushed down, unaccessed, unstirred on the inside of us. And then we have to take time to stir ourselves up. If we're praising, it's keeping our faith ever ready. It's right here on the tip of our tongues, waiting to address, waiting to answer situations, oppositions, difficulties. Our faith is ready at a moment's notice. And that's where the door is always closed to the enemy uh-huh. because you're always ready right. with the word. You're always yeah. ready with right. your faith. Yeah. Yeah. And so just obeying this verse not only puts us in the right flow and holds us right. there, right. but it also puts us in the right place uh-huh. in faith. Right. Right. Wonderful. That we're ever, yeah. we're just yeah. ready with our yeah. answer. Yeah. That's right. That's Amen. 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 Have you ever seen someone who is masterful in their profession? Mm-hmm. I mean, they are yeah. skilled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. They're practiced. Mm-hmm. You ask them a question and they don't have to go, oh, now let me think right. about, yes. no. Right. They are, yeah. it's like right. the answer for that yes. is right at the front of their tongue. Yeah. 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 It's not way back somewhere. Right. <laughs> it's right there. And without pause, Amen. without hesitation, yeah. They are able to answer any question yeah. about that which they're skillful in. Yes. Amen. Right. Yeah. Amen. When good. we become skillful yeah. in this lifestyle and flows, flow of praise mm-hmm. and worship, yeah. that no matter what answer is called for, it's right there. Right. Right. It's, right. Right. it's yeah. right there at the front of our tongue, Amen. ready to give. And it's God's design that yeah. just staying in this continual flow of praise yeah. will elevate the way you live your life. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. It will elevate the way uh, you address opposition. Mm -hmm. You won't get into worry. You won't because there's already a different flow established. God said to me two years in 2011, two years before my husband went home to be with the Lord, he said, all I want you doing is practicing peace. Mm -hmm. So when my husband, two years later, and I did that, Mm -hmm. you say, what do you mean by practicing peace? Any thought that didn't lead me to peace, I cast it down. Any any suggestion that didn't bring joy, Uh I cast it down. I protected that flow of peace that was already mine, but I had to be skillful at it, practicing it. So I did that. I did it. And uh, what happened, it put me in a, if I could say this, a further place in God, uh-huh. a further place yeah. in the yeah. spirit, a further place into the higher flow. Amen. Amen. The flow of peace is a higher flow. Yes. The fruits of the spirit yes. that are in you are a higher flow. Yes. Now we need to practice them and yes. become skillful in the face of adversity yeah. at spending those forces, right. Right. using those. And yeah. I love what Sister Gloria Copeland said. She said, since the fruit's in you, eat it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. right? Yes. Don't leave it uneaten. Yes. Yes. Spend it in the face of opposition. Yeah. Employ yeah. it. Yeah. Use yeah. it. Yeah. And so, um, so God said to me, all I want you doing is practicing peace. Mm-hmm. So two years later, when the report came that my husband had died unexpectedly, I was already in that flow. I wasn't trying to find it. Because the flow of peace was already getting motion in my life, in my daily life, in the practice of it, grief couldn't get in. Sorrow couldn't get in. Amen. Because there was already a different flow that was had a had a great yes. force to it. Right. I tell you what, I want you to know peace, joy, and all the fruits of the Spirit 
are such mighty forces that even death is no match for yes. Amen. 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 And it's not that I didn't love my husband, that I didn't, that I didn't grieve uh -huh. or sorrow because, see, people have been taught that flow, yeah. seen that flow demonstrated. Right. Yeah. But for the believer... Right. When, when, you know what Paul said, to live is Christ, right. but yeah. to die is gain. gain. Yeah. Could we say it this way? To die is to be promoted. Yes. Right. Yeah. To right. die is to come into more. Yes. When we think right yeah. and we don't take the thoughts of the world, we realize our world did not just fall apart. Theirs yeah. got promoted. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Yes, we may miss them, uh -huh. but we rejoice in their promotion. Sure. Right. Right. You know, if your husband came home and said, honey, uh, I, I got to tell you something. And he looks all dreary. What is it, honey? I got promoted today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so bad. Oh, no, we've never oh, no. sorrowful at advancement. Right. Right. No. At increase, Amen. right? Amen. Well, we see that what God offers us is advancement Amen. and increase. Amen. So when my husband was promoted yes. to a greater flow, Amen. yes, I wished he was here, but that, that's, not, that's not even relative anymore. No. I just no. turn the page uh -huh. and say, when he left my life, the plan of God didn't. That's right. That's right. The purpose for my life yes. didn't leave. Yeah. Amen. That's good. People that God brings into our life are not the plan. Right. They might be part of the right. plan, but they are not the yes. plan. Yes. Yes. Amen. My children are part of the plan of yeah. God, but they are not the plan. Right. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. People are going to enter your life. Yeah. Sure. People are going to exit right. your life. Right. Don't let your peace and joy leave Amen. with them. Amen. Amen. That's, That's good. That's good. Very good. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And see, sometimes we don't know these things because all we've ever seen demonstrated around us right. is the wrong flow. Right. Right. You know, we don't have to get in a hole of depression. Yeah. We don't have to get into a hole of sorrow yes. and spend months or even sometimes years and sometimes not ever coming out of that right. hole. Right. Yeah. True. I refuse in the face of that tragedy yes. for the devil to get the plan of God Amen. for my life too. Yes. Yes. He's not getting my, right. the plan of God for my yeah. life. Right. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, and yes, my husband left, but I, the plan didn't. That's right. That's right. That's right. The plan didn't. That's right. And because I had already, by the Holy Ghost, with his direction yeah. and his help, I established myself in this flow of the force of peace. Right. The force of grief right. had yes. no, it, it did not have the power to go yeah. against yeah. that flow. Yes. It could Amen. not enter. Uh -huh. The sorrow could not enter Amen. because I recognize I don't honor my husband by grieving. Right. That's true. Yeah. That's good. I don't honor my husband by being sorrowful. Amen. If true. if grief was a flow of honor, yeah. why did Jesus come redeem us from That's it? Right. That's right. That's right. He Amen. redeemed us Amen. from grief. Amen. He bore our griefs right. and carried our yes. sorrows. Amen. Why did he do that if that yeah. was a flow of That's honor? Right. It's not a flow of honor. It's a right. form of bondage. Yes. Right. That's yes. Good. Yes. And the way I honored my husband was do the word he taught us. Yes. Yes. Amen. Right. And carry on yeah. and Amen. keep running yeah. the race right. with joy. Amen. 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 So thankfully the Holy Ghost, he established me, helped establish yeah. me in that flow of peace. Yeah. Why? Because right. it prepared me right. for opposition, yes. right. tragedy, yeah. emergencies right. that were coming. Mm -hmm. When God says in Psalm 34 verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You know what he's doing? He's telling us there's a flow there to be established in. If you'll do this, this flow will be a safeguard to you in a time of difficulty, in a time of emergency, in a time of tragedy, in a time of opposition, temptation. And it's a flow that uh, that your faith is hooked to. Right. Yes. So your faith is constantly moving. Yes. What yes. happens to faith that's always moving? There's a momentum right. with it. Right. And you've seen things that get in that sure. momentum. Oh, Listen, yeah. I've been around Brother Copeland's ministry. I've been at Eagle Mountain International oh, yeah. Church. Sure. You don't go there and not sense the momentum oh, of faith. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you go there and don't sense the momentum yeah. of faith, get born again. That's right. <laughs> yes. I'm just... Because it is so evident. Yeah. And you get around it and you oh, start yeah. 
you, you sense the pull of that momentum that accelerates right. you. Amen. Why? Because you're stepping into a flow that's already yeah. been in movement. Right. Right. It's already got a momentum with yeah. it and it just accelerates you when you get around it. Yeah. This is what praising and worshiping yeah. God does. Oh, that's good. Yes. Amen. Yes. That, it th- it, that there's a momentum with your faith right. because praising and worshiping is an act Amen. of faith. That's right. that's true. And yeah. so it draws you into that flow yes, it to where Amen. your faith is ever ready. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. When you're ready, nothing overwhelms yes. you. Nothing. Right. Nothing. Yeah. That's right. nothing gets the upper hand yes. over you. Yes. Uh-huh. Nothing pushes you down yes. because you're already elevated by yes. the flow yes. of, of what you're in. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. No wonder God said to Brother Norval Hayes, mm-hmm. he said, teach my people yes. to worship me yes. more. Amen. No wonder because that flow will establish us in heaven's atmosphere. Listen, that's what heaven is doing right now. Anytime you've ever heard account, read account, Mm -hmm. seen account of somebody that has had the experience of going to heaven, Mm -hmm. they all describe the praising, the worshiping of God that's going on. It's the atmosphere of heaven that when one person in heaven says, praise the Lord, all those around pick up and they get in that flow. Why? Because worship and praise is a flow of faith. And those who are in heaven, when when somebody is in that flow, everybody else is carried away and they enter in that flow. And God is letting us know you don't have to wait to heaven to get to heaven to get in the flow. While you're on the earth, you can will to step into that flow. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. When his praise is continually in my mouth, my faith is continually in my mouth. My answer, my help is in my mouth. Amen. Well, we've been addressing some of the things that's in this book, Worship, and we want you to get hold of your copy of it. It'll be a blessing to you. So go to DufresneMinistries.org and let us know you want your copy. And remember this until next time, Jesus is the healer. God bless you. To watch or listen to today's message and other messages by Nancy Dufresne, visit DufresneMinistries.org. Victories await us as we learn to walk in the truths of divine love found in this book by Nancy Dufresne. Order this book now at DufresneMinistries.org. Please join us for our annual Holy Ghost meetings in Marietta, California, January 6th, through the 11th, 2023, with Nancy Dufresne. We are also excited to welcome Kenneth Copeland and Richard Roberts as our special guests. For more information, please visit our website at DufresneMinistries.org. We trust you've enjoyed this message. Visit us at DufresneMinistries.org to learn of our upcoming meetings, share your testimony, submit a prayer request, or visit our online store. Thank you to the friends and partners of Dufresne Ministries for making this production possible.